a day. In this video, we're going to try and explain to you how interval notation works. It's one of the easier ones under notation, so enjoy it. On the side here is still my help box with all the different number systems that we have, but now we're only going to work with the real number system. In other words, interval notation only works on real numbers, so these three are not going to be used now. Here I wrote an example. It says x is an element of, and what it reads is, we want all the numbers from minus 2 to 1. This round bracket means excluding the minus 2, so we want the, the number just on the right-hand side of minus 2. This one's round bracket here says excluding the 1. So that means I drew a circle at 1, so we don't want 1. I drew a circle at minus 2, we don't want the minus 2, but we want all the million numbers in between from there to there. Here, the square bracket indicates including, so we include the naught, that's why I put the black dot here, including the 3 because of the square bracket over here, that's over there, and we want all the numbers in between, that's what this is saying, so that's why I drew a line over here. So this solid dot is square, solid dot is square, empty dot is, like I always see this as like half of a circle, and it's like half of a circle, so those are the two examples you can following two works like this. Here it says x is an element from minus 2 to 1, including the minus 2 and excluding the 1. So I put a solid dot at minus 2, a circle at 1, and I include all the millions of points in between. That's why I drew a line. This one says x is an element of, we're working from 1 to 3. At 1 we put a circle because it's excluding, and at 3 we put a square bracket because it's including. So this says we want all the numbers from 1 to 3, including the 3, excluding the naught. And that's how it's indicated on the number line. This says including the minus 2, excluding the 1, and everything in between. And that's how we do it on a number line. Here is a new sign. This is the infinity sign. It means you go on forever in this direction. So I'm going to go to 1. It's a round bracket, so at 1 I make a circle. Then it says go in this direction to infinity. And this is then how it will look from 1. You can see it's not including the 1 and going to infinity, the positive sign. There's a small positive over there, like in all normal numbers, where there's nothing in front. Watch the way that we make infinities, like an 8 lying on its side. And also see that at infinity, we always have a round bracket. I remember that the infinity is round on this side, so that's why it's round. So it's got nothing to do with include and exclude on infinity. But on numbers, it means in or exclude. This is excluding the 1. The next one over here says we're going to work to negative infinity on the left-hand side. I'm going to start at 2. And this is going to be a, a solid dot at 2. So I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going into a negative direction. I'm going from 2 to the left-hand side, to negative infinity. And this is my final answer. This is on a number line. The number is from 2 including to negative infinity. And this is written in interval notation. It's the same thing, both of them. Next one says, including minus 2, I'm going to infinity on this side. A number line at minus 2 is solid dot, millions of dots in this direction with an arrow. Last one says, we're working from minus 1, where I put a circle because of the round bracket. And then we're going in this direction to negative infinity. This only works with real numbers, you never see dots with interval notation. So here are three ways of answering the same thing. This red one. Is the same as it says here, the numbers we're looking for is bigger than or equal to minus 2, and they are real numbers. This says the numbers we're looking for is minus 2 and everything bigger than minus 2. This one says x is the element of starting at minus 2 and going to infinity on the right. So three different ways to write the same thing. You can usually choose which one you want to use, or they will tell you write the answer in this or that way. But by the end of grade 10, you'll be able to use any of these, these two methods, on your own if you see this. Here again is the third way of writing this one. This says we're looking for the numbers from minus 1, not him, and left everything. This one says we're looking for all the numbers, minus 1 excluded, everything left of that. This one says the numbers we're looking for is smaller than minus 1, the next element of R. Set by the notation, interval notation, number line. Three ways of representing the same thing. The syllabus says that you must be able to represent things in different ways. And this is what this is all about. To quickly recap, 
in interval notation, this way of writing, we learned to work with infinite. Remember a round bracket of the infinite? We learned about square and round brackets. A square bracket indicating including the number and everything in that direction. A round bracket indicating not the minus one, but everything just on the left of that. So we had square brackets, round brackets, infinity, positive infinite, negative infinite, and a way of writing. That was new to all of us. Enjoy using interval notation from now on in your maths.